think we got it covered for a little while. <laughs> Um, great feeling, man. Waking up to that news was, that was, you know, big for me, big for the room, big for Tice as well. You know, he, he deserved it, and, you know, I know he's just going to build off that, and now, you know, we stable, and now it's time to ride. How, how different is it when you look around and like, all right, we've got a lot of years that we can play together versus, like, how you guys first got moved. What can that do for a group? Uh, it does a lot, man. It builds confidence, it builds continuity, and, um, you know, us being, you know, together for the next however many years, it's just going to build continuity and know what, know what each other's going to do at each moment. It's not just about the fact that you guys are all front together, but you have two quarterbacks that are battling for the long-term status of being the franchise quarterback. What does that do for his confidence to know that the same five guys are coming out every single year? With uh, big. It's big. I mean, especially both of those guys are, you know, young guys, and it's big for their confidence as well, just knowing that, you know, you got some short, um, short up up front and you can depend on us. What have you learned about Titus just working next, uh, work, working next to him for the short amount of time that you have? Maybe something that you just didn't know before you got here. Uh, extremely hard working, man. Um, takes a lot of pride in his craft, you know, and um, that's, that's something that you want going to battle with somebody each and every day, you know, just knowing that he cares just as much as you do and knowing that I don't want to let him down as much as he don't want to let me down. You know, that's that's big for the, for the right side of the line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they welcome me with open arms, man. As soon as I, uh, as soon as I got traded here, you know, they both hit me up, and you know, we've uh, we, we've messed well. Shaq, you mentioned the continuity, but also the importance of the position. They say you win in the trenches, either side of the football. The fact that they, with the you know, change to the Nico, the investment's been primarily off the line. What's that say about how the franchise is being reconstructed? Um, it shows that you know they're like you said, the game is won in the trenches. And um, us up front, you know, it puts a lot of um, onus on us, and we're looking forward to accepting that challenge. And, you know, we, we're going out there and putting our best foot forward each and every day. Fans are, fans are seeing a new scheme this year, and each offensive line has, like, specific things specific to them. Are what is something that you would like to tell fans that they should be looking for in their offensive line play specific to the scheme? Um, I mean, you know, I don't want to get into the ins and outs of the scheme and everything, but. But yeah, just generally, I mean, you're just gonna get a five guys that's ready to roll. I mean, that's 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 the biggest thing to it. So did Titus text you and let y'all know? How'd you find out? Uh, <laughs> he uh, called me like late last night, you know, and he was like, "We we we here." So okay, how late? Uh, it wasn't it wasn't too late. Like it was, I guess, when he got the news, he you know hit hit up the group chat and so. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. A couple more. You got three guys that are pretty stable on the offensive line. You have a position in the center spot where there's a variety of veterans, rookies. What are you seeing from the battle so far, and also what each of them are going to be able to bring to the table? Working the first um, Each of those guys, you know, they're they're working hard. Um, I know, um, you know, it's a it's a battle for who whoever may you know play these other positions and however it may go. But um, I just know that each each one of those guys are. Trying to build their confidence and our confidence in them, and that's that's just how the line play goes. Jared and Juice, Jer Jer and Juice are rookies, but you said during the part of OTAs that it's important for them to ask as many questions as possible. Have you noticed them in the late text messages, reaching out to you? Just oh yeah, they they uh, they're, they're they're sponges, man. You know, and, and that's the biggest thing you can be as a young guy: be a sponge, soak up as much as you can, ask as many questions, and that that propels your game to the next level as a young guy. Last year, Brandon and Aaron. This is technically. Brings a lot of energy, a lot of energy, man. And you know, it's it's easy to go out there and play for for a guy that brings a lot of energy, as well as uh, D'Amico. You know, they bring a lot of juice. And you know, as players, you wanna you wanna go out there and put your best foot forward if you got a guy behind you as as, um, as well as they are. Shaggy, Chris, Kenyon, his ability to absorb a lot from you guys, for him to make it back from the knee surgery, get out here. Uh, testament to him, man. Um, you know, working hard in rehab and trying to get out there and uh, get back to work. And that says a lot to us that, you know, they um, they want to train a camp. He's out there grinding, so it means a lot. All good?